So good evening, good evening, good evening. We are back again. We're going to talk about James Madison. I am fuming that he is signing for Spurs. Uh, but we're going to get into that, uh, all of the nitty gritty. Make sure you are smashing the like button up. I would appreciate that. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Uh, that would help. Uh, extremely close to 16,000 subs now. Literally less than 30 away. So let's get that done. Big up to everybody who subbed on the other channel. That's over 84K now. So thank you very much. Uh, make sure stick a like on the video. Leave your comments down below. Uh, get your super chats in as well. Appreciate that. And uh, yeah, James Madison um, looks to be done. It looks like a 40 million quid deal. And um, he's going to be signing for Tottenham. Um, they obviously signed a goalkeeper yesterday as well from Empoli. And uh, and now they're going to sign James Madison for 40 million. I think that's an absolute bargain. I can't lie. Yeah, no, I know they've been relegated, Leicester, and he was part of the team that got relegated. But at the same time, he is a top, top player. And I'd, I'd imagine he'd get into most teams, if not all of them, in the Premier League. Yeah, he's got something different about him. He can score goals, creates goals. You know, I know towards the end of last season when they got relegated, a lot of Leicester fans were a little bit upset with him. But at the end of the day... He's a top player and he deserves to play for a better team than Tottenham. <laughs> Don't hate me, Tottenham. Don't hate me. Uh, but he deserves to play for a better team, in my opinion. I think I think he gets into a I think he gets in City's team. I, I can't even lie. Maybe not starting every week, but I think he'd I think he'd improve their options off the bench. I think at Arsenal the same. Like I wanted him over Odegaard. Like, why didn't we go and get James Madison instead? Now he's going to Tottenham. And like, I just look at this and I think, like, it's kind of mad. It's kind of mad. And it's a great bit of business as well. Because when you've got Kane there, and I know there's, I'm in an R in over whether Kane's going to leave or whether he's going to stay. I still think he'll stay. He'll probably end up signing a new contract. But when you've got Son, you've got Kulazewski, you've got Kane as the front three, and you've got Madison behind, I think that's looking kind of good. I can't lie. Now, if you can get some firing again, we know Kane bags for fun. Like, bagged, what, 30 league goals last season. I mean, that's just ridiculous. He actually equaled his best ever tally in the Premier League last season. And it was only the fact that Erling Haaland is just a robot that they ended up, um, he ended up getting the golden boot instead of Kane. But it's mad. But uh, according to Fabrizio Romano, Tottenham will complete contracts and documents for James Madison in the next 24 hours. That was eight hours ago. So in the next 16 hours... Uh, that should be done. I'm not liking the the fact that he's in a Spurs kit. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Uh, but <laughs> but I'm sure Spurs fans are feeling it. He's a top player. And if we go through his stats, um, for all you uh, mathematicians and statisticians out there, is uh, he's actually got decent stats as well. He's got very decent stats and consistently as well. I know there's um, you know a lot of talk that he's injury prone and this and that, but. Listen, he played 30 games last season in the league. 10 goals, 9 assists. I mean, come on, that's decent, man. Yeah, and he played in about a billion positions. He played right wing, right mid, CM, AM, second striker, left wing. So he can play a bit of everywhere, if we're being honest. But you go through his um, his time at Leicester. 203 games for Leicester. 55 goals and 41 assists, which is what? One, one GA for all you GA merchants out there, one GA pretty much every game, uh, every other game, sorry. So, decent player. And I think this is going to be one of the buys of the summer, I can't lie. Along with Tonali at Newcastle, I think that's a quality signing as well. I know that's a lot of dough, but I think um, I think both of them signings are going to be top, top signings. And I think with James Madison as well, the way that Ange Postacoglu plays, yeah, he's perfect. He's absolutely perfect. And I've seen a lot of Tottenham fans saying that they don't want the manager, it's uninspiring. Not all of them, most of them are on board. But there's a lot of them that are uninspired by it, they're uninspired by the goalkeeper that they've just signed. But let me tell you, this, this manager that you've got, if you don't win anything, at least you're going to play decent football. Yeah, because the one thing that he will bring is decent football to Tottenham. Yeah, and it'll be better than watching Conte ball. It'll be better than watching... Um, Ryan Mason ball. It'd be decent attacking football. And I've I've got mates that live around the corner from here that are Celtic fans. They loved him. Yeah, and I know they were winning trophies with him, but the football was insane. Yeah, I watched them against Real Madrid and Shakhtar both times in the Champions League. And I know they got knocked out and they got beaten and all of that. 
Yeah, but against Real Madrid, they should have been 5 0 up at half time. That ain't even a joke. They should have been 5 0 up against Real Madrid at half time because the way they were just cutting through Real Madrid like a knife through bar was mad. And against Shakhtar. Yeah, but unfortunately, they lack the quality. The thing is now, and Postacoglu's now got a top, top banger up front. If he can get some back in form, Kulusevski back in form, and now add, add Madison in there as well, that's a good front four. In fact, it's better than good. No, Son was the golden boot winner two years ago. Or was it last year? Yeah, it weren't the season just gone. It was the season before. So, you know, 12 months ago, yeah, Son was the golden boot winner. You know, Kane wins it quite regular. Obviously, Haaland's won it this year. But you've got goals in that team. And now you've got Madison in that team. That's another dimension. The thing for Tottenham, they need to buy a couple of other defenders because the defence that they've got, that's the biggest problem with Tottenham, defence and midfield. Yeah, and I've seen that they're linked to loads and loads of different players. They're linked to more players than Arsenal are linked to, if we're being completely honest. But I do think that they're going to go and, and get them players that Ange wants, and they are going to go forward. They are going to move forward. They're not in Europe next season, so they don't have to worry about European competition getting in the way of Premier League games and so on and so forth. And I don't think we're going to see a bad Tottenham next season. You know, there's a lot of people that were sitting there writing them off all season. If they had kept Conte, they might have got in the top four. Who knows? Yes, I know it was toxic and all of that, but they didn't. And they ended up slipping down to eighth in the league. When they sat Conte, they were actually fourth. So, you know, looking back on it, you could say, well, maybe they would have got top four, but it's all if buts and maybe, isn't it? The fact is, Ange Postacoglu is the manager now. And Daniel Levy is going to obviously want him to get into the Champions League because that is the holy grail for Daniel Levy. So he's going to have to give him some money. I don't think Kane's going to go. I don't see that anyone's going to pay 100 million quid for Kane, although they should do because he's a guarantee of goals. You know, obviously it's still early in the window. There's still, what, 12 weeks left, eight weeks left sank in the window. So anything could happen. But as it stands on the 28th of June, I don't see Harry Kane leaving. I don't see where he goes. Man United, yes, they'll have the money. If the Qataris come in, they might have the money anyway if they get rid of some players. Chelsea have got the money. Will they sign him? I don't know. Real Madrid, they can afford him, but I think they're trying to eye up Mbappe instead. Bayern Munich ain't got the dough. Where's he going? I think the ship sailed last season with um, with Manchester City. I think if he really wanted to move, he could have just said, bollocks, I ain't coming back. And I'm just going to stay at home. You keep finding me. It's money that I'm not due yet. It's money that you owe me later down the road. I've already got money in my bank, mate. I don't need that anymore. So, cool, I forced my way out. But he was never going to do that because his England captain, his image, his PR image, you know, his Tottenham's top goal scorer now, you know, and it took a couple of goals for him to get back into the team. And um, and then all of a sudden, as soon as he started scoring a couple of goals, fans forget. Fans forget that he downed tools last season and and before the season started, sorry, and uh, refused to come to training and stuff like that. But listen, it is what it is. Uh, let me know what you guys think. All the, uh, all the guys watching this, Spurs fans, any fans, let me know how good a deal is that for Tottenham. 40 million for Madison, who guarantees you 10 goals a season, at least. At least 10. He'll guarantee you assists. He'll guarantee you goals. He can take free kicks. Yeah, he's a good player. He'll work hard. He'll get up and down. I think this is a great signing. And I'm extremely jealous that we've not signed him because I've wanted this player for years. You know, I know I was watching Dan Potts the other night as well yesterday, and he was saying the same. Want, want Madison. I want Madison. You know, and for me, we've gone and signed Kai Havertz. Well, I much rather would have had Madison. Much rather would have had Madison. We could have put Odegaard in the number eight, maybe. Or go and get Madison and then go and get somebody else. I don't know. But the fact that he's going to Tottenham pains me. I can't lie. It pains me because I want the player and uh, I think he'll smash it at Tottenham, especially with the with the vision and the, the footballing brain that Harry Kane's got on him. He is a top, top footballer, Harry Kane. Yeah, and the weight of pass, the passing accuracy, you know, different types of passes. Yeah, he's super smart, intelligent footballer, Harry Kane. And with Madison's runs off the ball into the box, when Kane drops deep, matters to go forward, I think he'll he'll bag more than 10 goals next season. Yeah, and I think he'll he'll definitely score more goals than Kai Havertz, that's for sure. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Leave it all in the comment section down below. Uh, be interesting to know what you guys think. And um, are you unhappy with the deal? Maybe you don't like Madison. Uh, leave it down below in the comments. Smash the like button. 
that would be fantastic uh make sure you share the content around and come on man get me to 16k what is going on here it was flying and now it's kind of stagnated so let's go again man if you ain't sub sub talk about anything on this channel not just football and it won't be arsenal it'd be all other clubs and anything else arsenal is on the main channel so yeah we're out of here people have a blessed day get your comments and super chats in we're out adios ciao